Conventional flower arranging is a huge amount of fun. Working in containers and vases and bowls. And sometimes you just have to let nature inspire you. And this here, these wacky, weird, funny looking things are actually really, really beautiful. So these are roots that a friend of mine gathered for me. So Gail and Graham, thank you so much. So all I've done today is I've got one brick of biodegradable oasis in a one brick tray. And I'm going to use these pieces of gnarled wood to create a very fascinating shape that I can arrange all of these stunning flowers that I've got here. In Not only is it now just a brick of oasis, but it's actually a whole conceptual space with a little bit of height over here, some depth and some intrigue. And have I got some funky flowers to do this design with today. So we're going to start off with the really heavy form flowers, these. Let the leaves just be as they are and they complement beautifully. So this gnarled wood and these really funky leaves, great fun. So let's begin by putting one of those in right over there. Voila, and you can move the leaves around to suit yourself. So we've got three of them, so we're going to put them in first. Now we can put in some of the purple dendies, remove some of those deadish ones off the top there. So you can still use the stem and you cut right at the node and let's put in these gorgeous dendrobium orchids through the design. It's time to bring in the Estrantia and the Craspedia and give a bit more volume and some fun and funk to this already somewhat crazy design. So I've given it a bit of height up here now and then I have decided because there's so much purple that I definitely need to include these banks here and this one a little lower and then we've got a huge face of banks here up the front line and then watch what happens when I add this red in. Yeah, that's it. Red, gorgeous. And lastly, a strange chair. This will just fill up the gaps and fill up the holes, and then we'll be on our way to finished. Look at all those little pops of yellow fun, little yellow explosions. I'm just turning it around so that I can see clearly from the front side where all my gaps are, and to give some elevation and height. Now we just need some of these estranches up high on the back line here, in between the wood. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow again for some more fun and some more flower love from my house to yours. <laughs>